Hi everyone, it's Kathleen Pogany, and today we're gonna dive into some seriously spooky stuff right here on the Treasure Coast. We're talking about haunted places with their very own creepy stories that will send shivers down your spine. So first up, we've got the old Bellsmere School. This place, built way back in 1916, has some ghostly tales attached to it. Nowadays, it's city offices, but it's not just paperwork and meetings going on there. There's this kid ghost called Billy hanging around. People have seen him and they've also noticed some strange stuff. Like one time, a cleaning lady saw Billy sitting on the steps in old fashioned clothes. She said her broom moved on its own and she even got pebbles thrown at her. Ghost hunters like Larry Larson went down to the basement and heard weird noises. And in the third floor auditorium, they talked to Billy and got a ghostly yes sir in reply. Old Felsmere offers haunted tours hosted by Indian River Hauntings. So it's perfect if you're looking for that Halloween spook. Next, we're checking out the Marsh Landing Restaurant. This old place built in 1926 has seen it all from being a police department hangout to a place for good food. But it's also home to something otherworldly. Some staff members have seen a lady in a white dress staring out into the street. One time, Fran Adams, who owned the place, tried to chat with her, but the lady just disappeared. Spooky, right? Customers have seen blinds going up and down by themselves. Ghost experts call this a residual ghost, like a playback of a past scene that doesn't interact with us. Last stop, Old Fort Park, with a history dating back to the 1830s. Soldiers set up camp here during the Second Seminole War, thanks to the awesome view and a natural spring. But it also got a reputation for being haunted. Paranormal investigators have seen full-body ghostly figures wandering through the trees, strange white orbs showing up in photos and videos, and they've even heard weird sounds in the dark. Even their equipment's batteries got drained. And visitors say they've felt something touching or scratching them. It's like something from a horror movie. That wraps up our adventures into the Treasure Coast haunted places from the old Felsmere School to Marsh Landing Restaurant, and don't forget Old Fort Park. They're all packed with ghostly stories that'll keep you on edge. Thanks for hanging out with me and embracing the supernatural. I'll see you next time.